the Republican Party has a problem. Now I'm talking about US politics here. And here's their problem. Women are 56% of the workforce, right? They say they want more babies because they need more workers, but they also want women to leave the workforce, get back in the kitchen to have more babies. They won't implement policies that help people be mothers, be parents, and be in the workforce, but they want more babies born. So they're confronted with a choice, right? There's two wings of the Republican Party. There's the business wing that's always been interested in hoarding wealth, hoarding power. Their motives are always the same. And for the most part, the evangelical wing, the religious wing of the Republican Party has been very useful in attaining those goals. Those two things go hand in hand almost all the time, right? Except for now, because there just aren't enough people. Everyone's been talking about The Handmaid's Tale, right? But do you remember the problems that Gilead had during The Handmaid's Tale? In the TV show anyway, they talk about this. Commander Lawrence, played brilliantly by Bradley Whitford of West Wing fame. I met him once in Wisconsin, he's sweet, I like him. He was in charge of designing Gilead's economy because getting rid of all of the uh, newspapers, all of the tech companies, all of the, the, the food industry going back to like organic food and, you know, no office work and, and all of that stuff. They had no economy. Basically Gilead's economy is like Russia's economy was a hundred years ago. All the industry had gone. You took every woman out of the workforce, except for the Marthas, um, and the aunts but I don't think the aunts and the Marthas got paid for their work. They were basically just living slaves. And the aunts were basically like uh, teacher slaves, like indoctrination. It was, it was almost like the aunts seemed to me more like a religious order, like a religious order of like very mean nuns where they would instruct slash indoctr indoctrinate and police the handmaids and organize that part of the society. And then the wives don't do anything but be wives and look pretty. They don't even birth children because people are having fertility problems. The handmaids birth the kids and the Marthas uh, do all the domestic labor, the cooking and the cleaning and all that stuff. Media, entertainment, that industry is gone because more than half the population isn't allowed to read. IRL, the US economy would not survive a dramatic shift such as that. And the powers that be the owners of the means of production would not allow such a collapse. Because under a Gilead type system, those people could make money, their money's gone. Unless they move all their assets overseas and the US government doesn't seize them. But they could seize all the money in the bank accounts of all the women. So if they could do that, they could probably seize uh, Bill Gates's money, whoever else's money, if it's in a US account. So conservatives in this country are confronted with a choice. These types of Project 2025, you know, Gilead type conservatives, they have a choice. They can have a booming economy and they can have an economy that keeps growing um, the way we need it to grow in order for them to keep making the returns that they're making. Or they can have women back in the kitchen and out of the workforce, but they can't have both. I think what they're hoping for is that they have just enough women, primarily white women, forced out of the workforce and forced into motherhood that they can get the birth rate up without taking the economic hit. But women are resisting. So I don't think that's gonna work either. So as, as authoritarian and as horrible as the US can get in the coming years, I don't think it's gonna go full Gilead because the powers that be like making money. They like the money that having a fully employed workforce gives them. And like I said, 56% of that workforce is women. Even in states that have the lowest uh, female workplace participation, I think it's West Virginia, 48% of their workforce is women. So, I mean, I don't know how they're gonna get that toothpaste back in the tube.